All right, hello and welcome to the Ultimate Shin Megami Tensei 5 Battle Theme Tier List. I'm surprised nobody's done this yet. SMT5 Vengeance, incredible game, probably tied as my game of the year alongside Reload so far. The game 100% has the best soundtrack of the year though. Let me tell you this right now, the D tier on this list is gonna be a bit lonely by the end of this video. Cause this entire soundtrack is a work of art. I, I can't think of a single bad song off the top of my head at least. I will say though that I still largely prefer Shoji Meguro over this newer composer. Uh, what's his face? Uh, Kozuka. Kozuka, that was it. But for what he's lacking in a bit of quality, he makes up for with sheer quantity. Look at all these. We're bound to find some masterpieces in here. And these are just the battle themes, mind you. There's still like 80 more songs in the soundtrack. But let's not waste any more time. We got 43 goddamn thongs. Thongs? Thongs, really? Off to a great start. I can't even talk right now. Let's just get this over with. Uh, subscribe or I'll, uh, I'll uh, tell Mara you're gay. Yep, that's what I'll do. Subscribe. Starting with the classic normal battle theme, Battle Dot. Yeah, as far as normal encounter themes go, this one's alright, I guess. Really sets the tone for the rest of the game. But it's got nothing on some of the other uh, Mega 10 normal encounter themes. I'd, I'd give it a solid middle of the road B tier. I do think it's unique, at least. I remember being hyped when I uh, heard it in a trailer for the first time four years ago. But it kind of gets old really fast in game, uh, especially when you're playing over 80 hours. And this is pretty much mostly the only battle theme you'll hear. I much prefer some of the other normal battle themes in the same game even. So yeah, I'd say B tier. Next is, oh, oh hell yeah, I love this one. Play that shit. How can you not love this one? This is the first song I heard that woke me up and reminded me that, oh shit, I'm playing a freaking SMT game again. I honestly kind of forget that fact because Megaro isn't around anymore. So the classic SMT sound isn't around anymore either. The first time I heard this, this was also the first time I saw the Aramasa animation and, and goddamn the rush that gave me, let me tell you. Ooh. Oh boy. <laughs> you heard this the first time with uh, Apsaras and Lina and Seed, but I, I just like Anahita, that's why she's on here. But yeah, this one's just fun all around. Gotta give it an A tier, not quite S tier yet. Okay, next up, uh, Battle Strength. I think of all Frenchie over here whenever I hear this one, even though it technically plays with Elgore first. Good song, I place it in the lower B tier. Very intense, but I also love it when it slows down a bit. Love the piano section as it slowly builds up and repeats in this part, I mean. Okay, next up is... Oh shit, ne never mind. Yeah, I, I freaking hate this one, you guys. <laughs> Looks like the D tier might not be so lonely after all. Just, just so annoying. Uh, my ears hurt just listening to this. I swear, that they're, they're about to start bleeding. Know that the electric guitar is my favorite instrument, but the one here, it, it just sounds like ass. I know people like this one, but I just don't get it. I get that it's meant to be chaotic, but other, th uh, others, I, I keep saying thongs. What the fuck is wrong with me? 
but other songs do that too while still being nice to listen to. Anyway, down here you go. Something happened that pissed me off a while back. There's this channel on YouTube called Jesse's Auditorium. He's quickly becoming one of my favorite content creators online. He makes great content, check him out. He's a musician that pretty much just reacts to video game music on camera. And he chooses which songs to listen to based on his audience's requests. And of course, of course somebody requests this piece of shit song as the first SMT5 song he listens to. Needless to say, didn't make a great first impression. Next, damn it, I don't like this one either. Uh, look, I promise this is a god tier soundtrack. Just, just wait. This one's uh, like the other D tier. Just, ju just really annoying. I place it even behind Humans and Demons because, because that one at least had a sense of scale to it. This one's more like a whimper. Oh, this one. Uh, I freaking love this one, man. This is the kind of song that makes me want to learn how to play guitar. It's simple, but it's so catchy. You first hear this when you try to stop this Oni from killing a bunch of fucking toddlers. It's a bit uh, hype considering the context. Also plays against uh, King Frost in the freezer. For some reason, the phrase me and the boys come to mind when I hear this one. Kind of like uh, me and the boys on our way to buy some ice cream or dumb shit like that. Oh, and this part when it slows down, love this part too. There really aren't any bad or mediocre parts in the song, so it's gotta be at least an A tier. S screw it, this is our first S tier. Give it up for Droll, everybody, whatever that means. Next is Battle Ferocity, the first actual boss theme. And it's, it's pretty good. Definitely puts fear into the player the first time we hear it. Especially with this ugly mug in our face. The Hydra was the only boss I ever beat on hard mode in the original uh, Nintendo Switch game. After dying a couple hundred times, I mean. But after that, I switched that shit to normal so fast. Thankfully, hard mode is a lot more manageable this time around. It did make for a good memory. The song itself, though, isn't that memorable aside from that one time. I'd still get rid of C tier, it's not bad. Next is Ryo Kosohaku, aka Clash of the Mighty. I've noticed this one plays whenever you're fighting uh, figures of Japanese folklore, probably anyone in the Amatsukami. I like this one, kinda sounds like somebody's rapidly shaking an opera singer mid-performance to get those weird sounds in the background. Certainly a unique piece of music, but I wouldn't place it any higher than a C tier. I need like a really good one. F fuck it, let's talk about some of the vengeance tracks. This is the waifu song, literal wives, all of them. Except you. You you stay the fuck away from me. Top tier designs, all of them, but stay the fuck away from me. All of you, actually. These are four girls that can't be fixed. Just respectfully appreciate them from a safe distance.
Now this one, when I heard the first time, I actually thought was pretty generic. But that's because you can't really appreciate this track without headphones on. It's the little sounds in the background that really bring this track to life. It sounds so very weird and alien-like. It's this part that gets me though. Come on, I have to place this in the A tier, if only out of respect for Nama. Yes, I am simping. Deal with it. Oh, this one's such a pop. You can't see it, but my ass is shaking right now. Just dripping with personality. Fuck it, I was thinking B tier because the second part isn't as good, but nah, it's going up here. Just for the sense of joy it gives me when I start a battle and I hear that intro. It just sounds like pure fun in music form. It just sounds like SMT5 specifically. Even if I heard this without playing Vengeance, I would know what game this is from. Okay, next. Now, this is the normal battle theme in the canon of Vengeance, just a remix of the other dot theme, and honestly, I like this one better. It's normally not the case for remixes, but no, I actually prefer this one. It sounds less unique, sure, but I like the instruments used here a lot more. I prefer the piano over the ha uh, ha uh, ha uh, ha, uh, you, you know the part I'm talking about. Sounds like a better fit as the normal battle theme in my opinion, especially uh, like where it prepares to loop around. This part, I mean. Yeah, I'd also place this one in the B tier, probably only one spot ahead of the original. Let's get the other normal encounter themes out of the way, actually. Okay, next is the normal battle theme for our new Nahobino form. Honestly, I think I kind of ruined this song for myself. See, someone actually made a sick cover of this theme here on YouTube before the game even came out, and I listened to that one repeatedly. So when I heard the actual one in game for the first time, I had already gotten used to that one cover. So I just thought it sounded a bit underwhelming and not as full, I would say. I'd still give it a solid B tier, even better than these other ones. But yeah, check out the channel Makai, they make some quality stuff over there. Oh right, fuck this one. Put it up there, just, just put it up there. This one straight up just sounds like a PS2 game battle theme, and that is the highest honor I can bestow onto any song on here. And wait for it, here's the part that takes me to heaven, straight up. Listen, listen to this. Damn, do I wish this was the battle theme across the entire game and not just a dungeon exclusive. It even makes that shit show of a final dungeon bearable to get through. Just, just a tiny bit though. Okay, next is... Oh, <laughs> of course, it's the Mitama track. How could I forget this one? <laughs> I 
what do you want me to say about this? It's just, just, you know what? I'm actually gonna make another tier for this one and name it. Uh, this is not a song. It's just sounds. There we go. Next. Oh, oh, I love this one. The guitar is kind of edging on the ear screeching side of the spectrum, but the part that follows... It speaks for itself, right? What a nice little melody. But again, the part that follows is... What, what, what the fuck was that? Kozuka? Kozuka, what, what, what the fuck was that? Was that really necessary? Thank God it didn't last longer than like five seconds. But yeah, other than that, it's such a delightful little theme to listen to. It's going in high A tier. Okay, next is Battle Origin. This one isn't that bad. Uh, it's weird, this is the one track that sounds strangely optimistic. Like, I don't know how else to describe it. It sounds not dangerous. Kind of like a friendly match between rivals. Which, I mean, Fionn McComface over here isn't actually a bad guy, but he had every intention of offing us. This one's just all right. Uh, I'd give it like maybe a B tier, or actually let's make it a high C tier. Oh, the Fiend battle theme. Great song, very mediocre remix. If this was Nocturne's version, I'd easily put it in A tier, but this, nah, it just doesn't sound right. Actually, th this first part sounds fine, but the, the, the beat drop, you can't mess up the beat drop in this song. It's the best part, you know, the... So yeah, I'd give this remix a C tier at best. Oh shit, this one. This one just hits you so far out of left field, it's crazy. It leaves such an impression, and for what? Fucking Ishtar. Literally just some nobody you met five seconds ago. Unique doesn't even begin to describe this one. So freaking weird. Weird and catchy as hell. I swear to you, my ass starts bouncing subconsciously whenever I hear this. And just for that, I gotta put it up in the S tier. There's also this one part of the song where it sounds like the school stage in the first Tekken Tag Tournament. This part, I mean. A bit of nostalgia to go along with this awesome track. Ah, the Song of the Angels.
this song is just like holy crap we're like 40 hours into the game and we're still getting more battle themes for some random ass quests but of course i had to put uh, metatron on here you know the big arbob angel we actually hear this one a lot more this time around with the canon of vengeance like the constant wave of powers overall i like this one definitely very ethereal sounding i especially like this nice piano part here Yeah, I like it. Going in B tier, around here. Oh, right, this one. The first new battle theme we hear in Vengeance. Now, this song starts out fine, right? Uh, listen to this. Classic SMT5, right? But then it slows down and becomes this ear-melting mess in a bit that I just want to cover my ears from. Yeah, th this one just fucking stinks. Doesn't leave the best impression, and this is literally the first boss theme we hear in the canon of Vengeance, so not a good look. Literally the only song that straight up just gives me a headache. The first part's pretty good though, so it's at least above these other ones. Next is Speedster. Just listening to this, you probably wouldn't be able to tell that we're just beating up somebody's grandma to this theme. But wait, there, I found a better use for that meme. Me and the boys are on our way to punch grandma in the face. <laughs> yes, they literally made a whole ass battle theme just for a fight against this granny, and I love them for it. Hold on, wasn't there a phone game called Angry Grandma or something? Is, is that what this demon is based on? Uh, anyway, I'd give it like a C tier. It's kind of generic. Next is Joen High School. Now, technically, this isn't a battle theme. It's uh, technically the first dungeon theme when the school is attacked by demons. It just so happens that the song continues to play when encountering enemies. But fuck it, I, I love this song, so I'm keeping it. Could you imagine how painful this song would be if it was Gekokan or Yasugami being overrun by demons and killing everyone? We're lucky it's just some no-name school filled with a bunch of hentai protagonists. It's just filled with this sense of dread, because you're not actually saving the school, the damage is already done and everyone's dead. You're just going around saving the lucky few who are still alive. I also remember ordering this big ship thing full of sushi as I was playing this part. And I, I love sushi, so it stuck with me. See, I still remember that detail like it was yesterday. Nostalgia is one hell of a powerful drug. A tier. Ah, it's the Atsuta as an actual character now theme. An underwritten character, and one I don't happen to like that much, but a character nonetheless. This one I like, but it just doesn't fit what's happening, like, at all. Our friend, in quotation marks, is trying to kill us because his sister's held hostage, and then this music's all like... It isn't all that memorable either, doesn't do anything special. 
I place it around a uh, high C tier. Next is Battle Edition, literally an additional theme because it plays during DLC fights. Yeah, I, I really dig this one, especially the uh, beginning part. Same reason I like Droll, I just really like hard rock music. It doesn't go as hard though, and I don't much care for this part where the guitar sounds like equipment a dentist might use. So, I give it around high beat here. It also kind of reminds me of Devil Survivor, that's always a good thing. Uh, ah. <laughs> The first time I heard this, I just laughed my ass off so hard. Not because of the song itself, but not, and not because there was a, a giant penis charging at me at lightning speed, but because they bothered giving this big pee pee you meet out in the wild his own theme. And boy does this intro fit how goofy this thing is. Uh, hold on, I gotta show you guys these texts uh, back and forth with my friend who knows fuck all about SMT by the way. So I sent him this picture with the caption, I just got jump scared by a penis, uh, as you do, yeah? And uh, he says, gay as fuck, I would jump on it though. Uh, and so of course I had to double down, so I, I, sa I said this, and uh, here's the rest. <laughs> no, this isn't sus, this is just what guys do. It's just like what that one guy said. If you do gay stuff, like, gee, you're cool. You're probably not gay. Anyway, uh, this track, I, I love it. Very weird, yet strangely catchy. I like the bomb, 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 bomb. I like that. It sounds like something Sully from Monsters Inc. would hump to himself. I'd place it at the tail end of B tier. Now this one, I don't know, uh, I'm slowly running out of things to say. Uh, yeah, it's all right, not offensive, but nothing special. But wait, 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 wait. Why does this one have 107K views? Am I missing something? Yeah, I just don't hear anything that particularly special here, so I'm giving it like a C tier. Very confused. Ah, it's the Dazai is still a mess of a character theme. This is a very unpredictable track, which I like. It's kind of like the Kadishtu theme, as in I think it's much better appreciated with headphones on. It's also very weird and alien. I lo love the melody. The part that really gets me though is this, listen. When I heard this for the first time, I immediately recognized it as the classic uh, Abdiel final boss theme. Uh, also, do, do you hear how unpredictable that instrument in the background is? It kind of sounds like a Danganronpa track. Uh, yeah, a very decent track. Uh, I'd give it like 
uh, B tier. There you are, my precious. Do I even need to say anything about this one? Just, just put it up there. Look at this, my ass is just shaking subconsciously. Easily, easily the best Vengeance exclusive song in the game, no question. I wasn't too fond of it at first, but I just kept coming back and coming back to it. If you ever find yourself in a bad mood, just play the song and look at that, you're happy again. The song kind of has that vibe of, look who it is, it's your boy Bubsy. You know, because this fight kind of comes out of nowhere. He just fucking wrecks the snake dude and says, nope, this is my boss fight now. Okay, now this one plays when you're out hunting some basilisks in the second zone of the game. Uh, but again, the music doesn't stop when you're fighting, so I'm counting it on this list. Nothing too deep, just classic SMT music here. Songs like this and uh, Nemesis theme from Devil Summoner kind of highlight the more goofier aspects of these games. It's, it's nice to have a light-hearted song every once in a while, you know, amidst all the death and destruction going around. I'm giving this one a B-tier, solid, fun, would listen to it again. Okay, now before we get to the secret and final boss themes, let's do these DLC ones first. So these two, uh, I haven't actually bought any DLC for this game and I don't plan to because it's almost never worth it. So I've only ever heard these once or twice. They aren't exactly fresh in my mind, but let's see, these might be good. Man, Rosica's really branching out with this soundtrack, isn't he? Okay, very Sakura Blossomy. Oh, that, now that was nice. Damn, now, now that, that was the best part right there. You know what, uh, I need to hear this with some actual gameplay. Watch this. Mm, okay, I think I see it now. I'd place it around here. I think it's really good, it's just not my taste in music, if you see what I'm saying. I'm more into heavier stuff, kinda like this next one. Oh shit, <laughs> forgot about that part. This, yeah, this one's so weird, man. This entire soundtrack is a fucking acid trip. Yeah, I don't know about this one. 
You, you know what this sounds like? This sounds like something I'd hear in Shadow Hearts. Straight up just a Shadow Hearts boss theme. Okay, I'll place it around here. Okay, now let's stack up the canon of creation final bosses, then vengeance, and then finally all the secret ones. Okay, the first of the final bosses, Abdiel's song. Love this intro by the way. Now, knowing me and how much I like rock music, I myself am actually shocked that I wouldn't place this in the S tier. It's a great song, don't, don't get me wrong. It's just a tad too generic in my opinion. So I'ma place it in the A tier. Listen to this though. It straight up just goes Dynasty Warriors on us. I always love it when they somehow make an, ele uh, an electric guitar sound emotional, almost like somebody's crying, which almost definitely isn't Abdiel. That, that's another thing that I practice this. I don't think this song fits Abdiel or Dazai. All right, so Kiyomi's battle theme. The first time I finished this game, I actually thought that this was the actual final boss because I did the destroy the throne route first and I was honestly satisfied with it. In my eyes, Tsukiyomi should have actually been the final boss, not dumbass Lucifer who decided to show up last second. As for the song itself though, it's alright I guess, not really all that memorable though. They could have definitely done better with this one. I'd place it around here, if only just for the uh, part with the choir, that was really good. Now this one I couldn't really appreciate in game cause I was already level 99 when I got this ending. I already beat Shiva, I got the true ending, so this battle ended in like 2 minutes. So it's not really all that memorable in my case. Just listening to it though, I'd say it's about average, I'd give it a low C tier. Oh shit, never mind, this part's actually pretty good. Never mind, fuck me. Low B tier. Lesson learned. Always listen to a song more than twice before ranking it. You'd think I'd know that by now. Okay, now Tiamat's boss theme. Would you believe this song made me nostalgic? Yeah, this song literally made me nostalgic over the trailer I saw half a year ago. This part, I mean. But yeah, other than that, I don't really have a lot of positive things to say about it. I mean, it fits the boss pretty well, but it's not something I'm going to be coming back to, to listen to anytime soon. So I'd say low C tier. M's Revelation. Look at this crazy little guy. Him and his weird little theme. Okay, now this one I think is very fitting uh, and kind of fun with that little him in the background that peeks its head every now and then. You know, kind of like a certain creep this theme is made for. It's kind of like 
creepy church music. This is the theme for all the priests and the warriors convicted for sex offense. Too far? That, that, that might be too far. Okay, fine. I'll just stop talking and put it in B tier. Now this is one where it's like newest theme in that I didn't get to experience it properly in game. I got the chaos route first and I got this ending like two weeks later. But not before watching John Awesome beat this boss first. Uh, so yeah, I kind of spoiled myself. It's very fitting, sure. It's just a remix of Yoku's theme. But I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of boring up until like two and a half minutes in when this happens. So yeah, that part keeps it away from the D tier at least, but not by much, because it's going right here. Okay, now this is the actual final boss theme. Now, if I never got the true ending, I would have placed this right next to the Mitama track, because this, what you're hearing right now, this is not a battle theme. It's, it's hardly a song, it's just sounds in the distance. It just sounds like an airplane taking flight. Fast forward a bit though, and you'll get the true ending version, which is, I would say, above average. I would definitely want more from a final boss theme though. I'll place it uh, mid B tier. Oh boy, the Shiva track. This one still gives me the chills. I would give this one an eight year. Oh, fuck me, never mind. It, it's S tier. I forgot about that drop. That, that just straight up gave me goosebumps all over. Next is the not as good Kurdish 2 theme. Uh, this actually plays twice in game. The first time when uh, Agra traps you in the shadow world thing or whatever that was. But I actually tied this theme more with Samael's uh, boss theme because it, it took me a while to beat him.
And I think this song is kind of a nothing burger. It's not that creepy, nor is it intense, nor is it weird. It's just sounds and what well, do you know, we happen to have a tier just for that. But, uh, but now I, I think it's at least a D tier. By the way, guys, if you're ever lacking self-confidence, just remember that the snake thing you're looking at right now managed to pull all four of the Kadishtu. Just something to think about. Next is the Demi Fiend fight theme, another remix, this time of Nocturne's normal battle theme. And again, they just took a song and made it worse in my opinion. I would give the original an S tier if only because of the dynamic feature where you'd get a different solo depending on what phase of the moon you're on in that game. The remix doesn't do that of course, now you only get one solo and it's this one. Now normally you'd get the solo right around here after this guy stops shouting, but no, fuck you, the song stops for another minute before it gets to the good part. H how, how the fuck do you mess that up? There's literally a gazillion fucking covers of this theme here on YouTube that do this song more justice. Whenever I listen to this version of the song, it's just me waiting till it gets to the good part two minutes in. But it ends too fast, and now I have to wait another two minutes until it does that again. This one annoys me, but the solo is so good, so I can't give it a C tier. But can't put it too high either, so it's going right here. Next is Masakado. I'm gonna tell you this right now, this doesn't sound like it belongs anywhere near an SMT game. You know what this one sounds like? It, it sounds like a scrapped Matoi Sakuraba song. It sounds like a track I would hear once in a Star Ocean game and then paid no mind. I can see the appeal on this one, it, but it just needed a lot more. It, even the beat drop is kind of mediocre. By the way, can I just say how much I hate this piece of fucking shit boss? Yes, I fought through Masakado. I beat him and I wouldn't wish that experience on my worst enemy. He's such a bullshit boss. What's worse is you don't even get anything from beating him. Like, what the fuck? No rewards, nothing. Screw this boss and screw this song. And it, now it just pisses me off. It makes me want to commit seppuku, as this piece of shit would probably say. Fuck it, it's going in C tier, just out of spite. And finally, Satan's battle theme. Now, this one's badass. I was whistling along to this melody right here all throughout the entire boss fight, which took me a whole two hours, by the way. And even after beating him, I was humming this at work, while cooking, in the goddamn shower. I didn't think it was all that great at first, but it, it stuck with me. But of course, of course they had to ruin it with this ear rape you're about to experience in a few seconds. Wow. 
Why? Why? Just, just why? Y you had something here. I can't for the life of me give this one an S tier just because of that second part of the song. But I enjoy the first half a lot, so it's at least going in A tier. S tier is only for songs that hit hard and have zero bad parts. And we're done. That's all of them. We're finally done. We have ranked every single battle theme in this goddamn game and that was the longest video I've ever made in my life. I don't think there has ever been this many battle themes crammed into a single game before. So kudos to the composers for actually giving a damn. I love how I made all these little uh, nice little images of all the game's bosses and then at number one we just got an image of Robus busting a fat nut. But yeah, battle at a face man. It just hits in all the right places. Let's play it again. Give up for the winner everybody. I think uh, Gliding over here had the potential to be my new favorite song in this game but I felt like it needed just a little bit more and also of course if they didn't have that annoying five second part that really dropped it down for me. But yeah that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Feel free to let me know what you think in the comments and how about everyone comments what you think the top three songs from this game are down below as well. Don't forget to subscribe for more gaming content just like this and for what's next I have one more Yakuza 8 video on their way uh, and one last video concerning Persona 3 Reload, but I might as well uh, wait until I finish episode I guess before I make that one. So I hope you stick around and until then, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.